comparing them to ta the Taliban, capital Taliban. So basically, here's the Bank of England, and you could look back for 300 years of their interest rate policy. Their money, their capital policies are looser than they ever been. This is the equivalent of a woman walking down the string, street with a G-string and pasties on, and he's saying that this, that the Bank of England is treating the money as if it has a full-clad burqa on and, and hiding the money, keeping the money from flowing loosely around the economy. He's blaming them for these capital requirements, despite having ultra, ultra, ultra loose monetary policy. Right. Well, that brings up the question, would you rather see Vince Cable <laughs> wearing pasties on his nipples or a burqa? And uh, I think I'd rather see Vince Cable wear a burqa. Uh, but that doesn't mean that his uh, characterization of the minimum capital requirements is correct by referring to these people as capital <laughs> jihadis. Yes. Okay, Vince Cable as a pasty wearing capitalist terrorist slash financial en enabler of the city of London to rehypothecate what non-assets they have to even greater levels of Ponzi nirvana is now on the table. In other words, he's revealed himself. He has shown his true colors, Vince Cable, as being this financial terrorist who promotes Ponzi schemes.